And the rapid strep test came back. Woo! Look at those! It's the most wonderful time of the year. So I finished filming finally. Thank the Lord. I really had that hanging over my head and I filmed two videos, which is very, very exciting. Um, one will go up today and then the other one will go up probably tomorrow or Friday and then the other one will go up Sunday but I don't know what I'm doing for Sunday's video so <sighs> I'm not that good at thinking of video ideas so I just really need to get with the program but um I really really like the way this video came out um it's a little bit different I have like a voiceover so I think that's pretty fun so I'm debating right now if I should go to the doctors before uh like people's jobs get let out because that's when it would be like super crowded so in the summer um, I will sh link that vlog down below. I was like super um, sick with strep when I was in Atlantic City and I didn't even know it. Like I did the rapid strep test because I had like a little of a sore throat and like I had like limited appetite and it was like felt like thick or whatever. So I went to the doctor just to be safe um, before I went to Atlantic City and like contaminated the whole place. And she was like, yeah, your, your rapid strep test came back negative. You're fine. Like just go on and have fun. Um, and I, I wasn't getting like worse, but I wasn't feeling better on my own. So I was like, I don't know. And then they called me um, a couple days later and they're like, yeah, your actual strep test came back positive. And I was like, well, I didn't actually have a fever like I didn't feel sick the only thing that was bothering me like was my throat and it wasn't intense so it feels exactly the same way it did back in July when I was in Atlantic City so I'm like kind of have a hunch that I have strep but like I don't know what's wrong with me like I mean I'm not complaining but when other people get strep they have like can't even swallow like they have a fever and I never have any of those symptoms when I have strep throat so part of me is like I should probably go to the doctor and get it checked out and get on an antibiotic before it gets out of hand but then again maybe I'm just like overthinking it so I don't know so I'm texting my mom right now I'm like hey what do I do and Brendan thinks I have strep and he was like I'm not seeing you until you get on an antibiotic because like I love you but that would be a terrible Christmas present with having strep and it is like literally less than two weeks away from Christmas so I do want to nip this in the butt if it is something serious and get on like a z-pack because I'm allergic to every other medication so I don't know let me text my mom <laughs> Holy moly guys, it is 20 degrees out here. I had no idea. It is around four o'clock and I hadn't been outside yet because, <laughs> hey, what's up? So I need to blast the heat. So sorry if that's like kind of annoying, but I need to get up out of here because I need to go to urgent care to figure out this whole situation with my throat. I think I touched on this a couple hours ago with you guys, but it's kind of important that I make sure that there's nothing wrong and if there is something wrong then I take antibiotics not for myself but because I'm around my Nana a lot and she's she's 83 now and she's recovering from lung cancer so um, I saw with my other grandma how like serious how seriously dangerous it is to get any sort of sickness when you're over the age of 80 at the doctor so I'm back home now with my parentals and my doggy, and the rapid strep test came back negatory. So we'll just wait to see if. You did it without us? Did what without you? Oh, the. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's the second night of Han what? Hanukkah. <laughs> Them both. Second night. Second night of Hanukkah. I missed the first night because I was very tired last night and at my apartment, but. I have a real menorah, but I wouldn't actually light it because you know how that goes. Like, and those candles are so thin, like they could just flop over easily. What are you watching? Um, he's not here, so... 
For those of you who don't know, I do have a brother, surprisingly. Um, but I, I'm the favorite child. <laughs> now he has his presents. He'll come when he gets the chance. But mom said, pick one. <laughs> I'm like, don't, I don't know. It's the Amazon bag. Uh, I don't know, what is it? It might not be. I Blenders. Oh my word. What is this first? Oh. oh, is that beauty blender cleaner? Yeah. Um, for your makeup. Look at her. Look at Maggie. She's like, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I don't get anything. I gave her presents, but I'm they're not for. Woo! Look at those. I've never actually had um a beauty blender before. The real deal. Mm. Yes. I usually use like the cool. the real technique. One, so this is cool. Is she it? No, 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 I just oh. let her Yeah, it's pick. my birthday. No. It's Thanks, Mom and Dad. I wanna show you guys how stinking smart my dog is. So, uh, my dog is like somewhere in the other room. I have a bag of chips, and I'm gonna yell, whoops, and she will come running towards me. Whoops. I was just, Maggie, girl. You are such a little scavenger. You were literally so far away from Juju. And you still heard whoops, and you came running. Why are you a genius, puppy? Why are you a genius? I know everybody thinks like their kids and their dogs are always like the smartest, but to me, the fact that she made that correlation that when we drop food, um, on the floor, we always say whoops, and she can make that connection and make that correlation to me like she's the smartest thing in the world. And I totally want to give her a barbecue chip, but I know they're they're bad for her, and they're also bad for me, so I probably shouldn't eat them. But <laughs> no, Nicola's leaving for Disney tomorrow, but we're also supposed to get snow, so she might have to stick around for a couple days. I yeah, I don't know. I mean, it'd be scary flying in the snow. Hello. It took us like three years to pick out our food, but we are ready. We are at Applebee's, by the way. It's good in the neighborhood. Literally. <laughs> Eating good in the neighborhood. Oh, I was with the good. <laughs> it's snowing again. Oh, my word. Oh, a me. <laughs> Nicole, the snow's not really picking up on here. Fuck me. Oh, it's really bright. Yeah, a little. Oh, it's really snowing out here. Oh, happy Hanukkah! Ooh, I just echoed. Oh God, I'm trying to take cute vlogging footage, but it's not cute at all. Yum! Let's do it. It's cold. I don't want to go home. I want you to not go home. But I don't want to go home. What are we gonna do without you? Um, you're gonna be romping around Disney. Nicole's going to Disney. Did I tell you that? Yeah, Disney. Lucky as heck. I've never seen Disney during Christmas time. That's like on my bucket list, but um, next year for sure. Okay guys, so after dinner, me and Nicole drove around and looked at all of the pretty Christmas decorations. So I will definitely share that footage with you tomorrow because it is too much to add into today's vlog because I already have edited up to like pretty much when I went to dinner with Nicole. So I'll just include that footage obviously, but leave out the fun tours of all the pretty houses. There, there's some that are pretty, but there's also some that are not so pretty. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. It's the most wonderful time of the year.